Go ahead, Efren. Do our intro for us. Hold on. I just need a, I need, I need a breather. Hold on. <laughs> Take your time, Hold man. on. Take it's, your time. It's WrestleMania season. Hold on. I'm about to fuck it. I'm about to fuck it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it! Kick! Back! Crow! <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Kickback Crew Podcast. Today, we have an amazing special guest. It was an honor to bring him here. You know how long it took us to bring him here, but he's here now. Our boy right here, Alex. Alex, go ahead. Introduce yourself to our fans, who you are, what you do for a living. Uh, My name's Alex, Alejandro Redondo, Alex for short. Um, Man, part of the Troll Adventures. Um, You know your Mexican aunt, Mexican mom. Put the mic a little closer like this. Oh, right here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit, my bad. Dangerous My bad. Yeah, know, bro. <laughs> you yeah, like this? You know. Aaron, Already, bro. we just started, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Already fucking up. We grew up watching it, and we're big fans. That, I'm sorry yeah. to say that, but Thanks, we did grow bro. up watching it. We're not yeah. making you see more. You know, <laughs> it's all good. good. Yeah, Time man. Anyway, we, yeah, we watched bro. all your videos. We like we what's, can, what's, we can we can we can quote any fucking line from. That, bro. <laughs> yeah. What's <laughs> the what's the what's that called? Binge watch. We binge watch yeah, your video. Yeah, you guys' videos like over and over and over. I think one clip I have in my head is the one when. I don't know. I think it's Super Ego when he's like shooting the duck. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> shooting the rubber ducky. <laughs> yeah, that one, bro. Exactly. <laughs> My mom, we always fucking make fun of her because the way you act is exactly yeah. how yeah. she fucking acts in sleep. Yeah, yeah bro. That's, that's dope. That's fucking awesome, bro. That, that's what I probably... I, I did like that. That we wanted um, either you... If you were Hispanic, if you grew up Hispanic or Latino, what have you, uh, whoever you're looking at, I want. we wanted you to identify with what you were looking at. Yeah. And if you weren't, um, that's why another reason why I love that you know your Mexican is even if you weren't Mexican or whatever you would see those comments and be like oh you know my family's like that but I'm not even Mexican yeah, yeah. so like, it became kind of like a bridge to, mm-hmm. to yeah. other cultures which was really cool did you get inspired from your mom like that? They, yeah, uh, did you get a little bit of your mom's? yeah little bits or when you see other people like maybe your friend's mom and stuff like that I would say I would say aunts I was like, sprinkling a little bit of aunts just the different women that were around me um, so yeah, you can say like my mom, my aunts, um, friends, moms. You've done like many. You've done a lot of videos over yeah. the years. Has there ever been like that one video you're just like, damn, I don't like this video. Oh fuck, man. You're just like, I just one, don't. You guys, so never saw put it up on YouTube. Yeah. I know you're just like, I don't like the way I sound, the way I look, the way it was. I'm like, so critical. So I would say all of them, cause, cause <laughs> I just, man, I cringed like watching myself. But um, no, I, I no. No, I don't regret anything that's out there. I would say maybe the awkward trainers. I I would hate. I hated uh, man because when I first started my channel, I wanted. I didn't really have an idea what I wanted to do. The only thing I I wanted. I had an idea of was that I wanted to create characters that nobody really seen before. Mm-hmm. So I did the drunk uncle. I yeah. did a uh, awkward trainer. Just out there. They were just yeah. out there. You know. Yeah. What I mean? And I wanted to make people react. I came up with uh, low pro silos and the, the the prison episodes or the prison shows that I did. Yeah, those were funny. I remember uh, watching those. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, tell you that, bro. Like what? Like what came up? Like when you did, made that channel? Because I was I I used to watch the silos one. Yeah, I used I, to love those. At that time, I had signed on with makers. I think that was a mistake that I made. I signed with Maker Studios. Um, uh, it was like this production company that focused on, you know, YouTubers back in the day. And it was awesome, bro. It was it was a really cool experience. Um, they had everything. Like they had like people who would build sets for you. If you had an idea, you'd present it to them, and they'd be like, "Fuck!" And they'd help you like create it. You know, yeah. so they, that prison set, they helped build it, and, and they had people like around me. Like they gave me a producer to help me pretty much managed like the lighting and like man it was it was just awesome like i seen that i was like does my motherfucker go to jail <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 went to jail. Was, it really was man and shout out to to all the people there um and so really a lot of amazing people but after that right around that point where my ch- i first started my channel maker studio has just gotten bought out by disney so oh. when they got bought out by disney they started to focus on just they're bigger like i said i was yeah you know they started focus like on their movies and stuff videos. actually i think yeah. it was about the youtubers yeah. and well, like, no okay. well do you remember ray, ray william johnson back in the day he was like the big guy i don't know years bro yeah they, i know he was number one at that time so i think they had signed him so whoever was at the top they were just pretty much focusing on them oh okay and my channel ended up falling by the wayside and then i had a son come in and that's where i had my first son 
And that's where I was in a crossroads, right? And this is where I think I fucked up joining Maker Studios was because I kind of placed my value on other people's hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, instead I of you. just like uh, making YouTube videos on my own and doing it, you know what I mean? And putting it on my own shoulders. Um, I went with Maker Studios and it, they made things easy. Um, uh, they, you know what I mean? Like they provided all things that I didn't have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so when that was taken away and then I had a son come in, boom, there was like, that's where fear set in. That's where it was like, holy shit, can I sustain this? Mm -hmm. I have a boy coming in, yeah. you know what I mean? And like, they just like dropped my channel and I was, I needed to stand on solid ground because it's, it's scary. Yeah. So that's where I, I put that to the side and I started to focus on family business with construction you know, a cabinetry and yeah. shit like that. I think from that moment, though, it planted a seed. It planted a seed in my head. Like, uh, just doubt. Because I, I was always the confident dude, but I think at that point, that fucking, yeah, man, that little fucking seed of doubt grew over time. Mm -hmm. it, it, like, um, it grew into, like, a self, self-hatred, sort of, because it was kind of like, um, this was what you're kind of, this is what you wanted to do, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But, yeah. Uh, but I kind of feel like I, I gave up on myself a little bit, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I was always, I was, I was always, ah, oh, man, I, when I would go to acting classes or with colleagues, you know, working with uh, other actors or whatever, and I was always synonymous with potential. And at first, that's a real good thing, right? Because, you know, you have potential. Mm -hmm. But then after a while, that becomes like a, sort of an insult yeah. you know what i mean because when you say when you to say you have potential to say you've never done it before you know so that's kind of like the backhand compliment for a while that seed yeah like i said grew into depression and, and it's just like this whole big cloud and You're one year being away turned into two yeah two years being away turned, turned into five years turned into 10 years not being able to put up a video and yeah. always come up with people like and it, oh man, I hate myself. Like when I, when people ask me, like, why don't you do videos anymore? You know, like, and I feel like they, when I look at them, they just peer right into my soul. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I just can't. Like yeah. you can feel their emotion. Yeah. Well, I'm just like fuck, man. Like I'm, I feel like you know you feel like a failure. Yeah. You know what I mean, could have been so much more, but you never. You ever decide on maybe having a comeback? I did so comeback many times, season? bro. So many Probably. times. Yeah. I think a little collaboration. I mean. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, you I mean, I see, I see I mean, you guys doing like, thing, man. You guys, and like now is the time for your comeback. Yeah. Like you know, Hispanic is like yeah. up the roof nowadays. Yeah, like, everybody loves the Hispanic community. And that's awesome. Community. That is dope to see. I love that yeah. shit. I, I wish that our culture would be more involved together. No, because there's so much. Because I remember when we were coming up, people always wanted to pin us against Lil Moco, and mm. I and. At first, the competitive side of me would always always be like, oh, yeah, let's go up against them, right? Mm -hmm. We're better, right? But at the same time, the grown part of me would, um, as I've matured, you realize, like, nah, man, like, let's build together, bro. Yeah. You know what Why I mean? Why go like, against each other yeah, when we can build, yeah. be yeah. united yeah. and I mean, go You're not going to take this top. other person Grow down. Bigger. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I'm going to chop this person down and build myself up. But hey, you should definitely make a comeback, bro. Did, like, you have, did you have, like, any, like, when you're, you know, take like, you know, a hiatus, stuff like that. You have like, did you grow more any like ideas, create like creative ideas that you wanted to do? I, I've had a couple. I don't, I don't know if I should say, probably get stolen, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've, I always Around have ideas. Area, like, ideas, you know. ideas are plenty. The ideas were never a problem. Yeah. Uh, the problem was getting it from here to there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Get you. Like yeah, um, the people to see. What like you I said, to yeah, see. and I've, I've always been so self-critical. And being self-critical and adding on that like uh, that seed of doubt that I told you about, and it adds that. So even if I have a good idea, something in my brain—it's just something. I'm sorry, I'm built this way. It's not gonna let you. It doesn't let yes, you go to the finished product. Fucking yeah. doesn't let me. No, because I remember a while uh, I wanted to make a comeback, and I was actually in the works with uh, my buddy Nine Diamond. Shout out to Nine Diamond. Um, I wanted to do uh, these videos uh, that review street fight videos, but put comedy into it, right? Oh, like okay. with comedic commentary. Um, I wanted to call it LMAO KO or LOLKO, something like that, right? Now I probably wouldn't work because I think <laughs> if I get 
canceled. canceled. <laughs> yeah, <'cause it's> like <laughs> but yeah, we were shooting it. We had about two episodes. I think we had a pilot done, and uh, and but we never. I never you know, released it out. I never finished pushed it. Out. I never yeah. finished it because uh, uh, again, that self doubt that always was on like top of your ideas. You're like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's it's tricky, man. I mean, creating content when you're genuinely creating content, man. You're it's so you're you're putting out your soul you're kind of you know you're giving hope, a piece hope you like yourself. it yeah you're giving yeah. a piece to yourself and you hope that the world will take it and man we cherish it and cruel. love yeah, it and yeah, yeah. you can be cruel man yeah. it could be a cruel world you ever been bullied on social media before mm. yeah. like hardcore bullied no well yeah but mm, i wouldn't call it bullying because it tease maybe maybe uh man well, of course you wear a wig <laughs> yeah. That's true. Right. Like I said, like I never, that never really, aff- that r- didn't affect me. What no. was affecting was if, um, if it was just good enough, mm. I can be made fun of. That's fine. Out of the many years you and Super Ego were doing videos, mm-hmm. which one's your favorite moment? Which one's your like oh, all time like favorite video that you did? There's like, a lot of damn, videos on a lot of memories, yeah. huh? Like, for, for first we could ask them, like, see, what was their favorite videos? And then you'd be like, okay, do you remember, like, part, part, part? Like, you're like, okay, oh, I, I remember those the parts. first one. First, first, first fight one? with Ego. Just because everything was just, everything Fun. that happened on that video was um, off the top of the dome, you know? So, and that's what people grasp, first started gravitating to, right? That's what kind of launched us. And um, that's, it, it, was, it was validating because it was, was just came from, our heads improv uh, basically yeah, yeah basically improv. and it r- received the way it was received and it grew into what it became mm-hmm. yeah so i kind of felt like that was special but my favorite one was the one with you guys with the uh, what's, what's his name mm-hmm. ciego all the ones you guys yes. do him that yes. one's always yes. fucking Me funny too, actually. Bro. i'm glad you brought him up shout out to peter that man. was fucking funny bro i remember the first episode you guys did with him that yeah. was cool and then the second one for his birthday oh my god that one was fucking funny bro <laughs> jokes, i used to watch bro. that one over yes. and over jokes I literally thought he was blind. I thought he was blind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was so fucking funny, bro. I was like, this motherfucker is a good actor. Because, I, bro, I've seen, like, the way I see you guys act is, like, so fucking top-notch. Yeah. It's really good. Thanks, like, honestly. Like, yeah, the acting Thank is you. good. Like, sometimes I'd be wanting to do my own acting. Like, I try to do, like, skits and stuff. I'd be like, fuck. It's pretty I said ass. that wrong. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, ass. I said that wrong. Somebody that takes a, uh, yeah, I'm I kind of felt it was, like, a more of, like, a chemistry between that Eric and I always had. Because we had, um, Eric and I had drama together. Ever since we had drama class, and at first we didn't like, or he didn't like me at first. And we already talked about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody knows the whole story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we always had that good chemistry from that class. And and, um, I think we just, like I said, that chemistry made us look better. Yeah. I I actually took drama in high school, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. you got made fun of too. It's okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it, bro. Like, yeah. honestly, Me too. I did. I did band. I did fucking choir. Sadly, I did choir. No, I did. And I, I did, did too. Theater. I actually <laughs> transferred from choir to drama. Yeah, and I was like, bro, out of all these fucking places I was in, bro. Yeah. bro I, like drama, they're all just a family. Like they yeah. treated me like so fucking like oh, they were so yeah. nice, bro. Yeah. I loved it. I loved acting. I love being on stage. Hey, you're Nineteen and twenty one, right? How yeah. Old are you? 22. 22? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you were the Don, eh, bro? The Don, eh? Man. <laughs> no, I did, I did uh, theater, too. I did uh, production. I did production theater, and then I did improv, too. Uh, yeah, so, so that was always fun. I was funny because a lot of people in high school used to make fun of those kids because mm-hmm. the way they were, you know, they were, you know, Shit. drama kids were, like, kind of weird sometimes. But, when uh, you but hang, they were the coolest kids, when man. You hang out, cool, yeah, when yeah. you hang out with them, they were the most funniest, yeah. like, caring kids ever, bro. Okay, like, they were like a family, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I am so everybody. You know, drama usually fill a bunch of misfits. You know what I mean? Yeah, choir, yeah, choir so fucking funny. scared me, bro. You know, <laughs> choir, they were just, especially in my school, they treated like it was a fucking cult. Like I was like, <laughs> so scared of them, bro. I was like, man, I was in it, and I was like, man, I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. I gotta go to somewhere else. I, I remember this one time uh, I went to theater and I was late, and it was just a free day. They're like, do whatever you want, you know. And they had they had the what's it called the switch connected to the big monitors. Yeah, bro. And, I remember, and I remember I was like, "What the heck? These kids are like really playing like Smash Bros right now." <laughs> and they just looked at me. They're like, "Hey, bro, you want to come play?" I oh. was like, "Yeah, I would love to come play." <laughs> and I would go and just play with them. It was so yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. It was so fucking cool, bro. It's Your most scary story. story that you have. I don't have any scary stories, dog. I, I just um, I, I just 
I've always been a little bitch. I can not gonna <laughs> 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 No, but uh, yeah, as far as scary stories go, I don't have any. I've always just been scared of. of I've always been scared of ghosts and shit like that. So I wouldn't fuck with it. So I wouldn't put myself in situations like that. Your mom's kidding. never told you, Kukui, never. Yeah, yes. bro, she does, but she gets fucking mad at us, bro. She's like, "What? <laughs> like, por qué miran esos videos? Va a estar viendo a puertas para el demonio." And I'm like, "Okay." El enemigo va a venir. Eh, no ando metiendo estas cosas en mi casa. Yeah, yeah I was bro. Like, oh, and I was, <laughs> I, um, my stepsister like had her friends over once and. and they had a Ouija board, bro. But oh, oh what fuck, the fuck? You know. fuck? But for me, I, I was man. I don't know. I always felt like it was just bullshit. I, well, I kind of feel like um, you have to really, man. I think really your mind play plays tricks on you yeah. a little bit. Yeah, because uh, I feel like they were experiencing shit, but I was kind of like just looking at them. Nothing. Like you ever notice? Uh, you watch those videos and um. Uh, they show you the perspectives and somebody's perspective is all crazy and the other person's perspective is like what the fuck is wrong with this yeah person? like you're well seeing. that's what it kind of was right oh Cause, okay yeah because like the, they feel like oh my god are you moving it <laughs> it's like bro I, I think at one point i was moving it because <laughs> like, i was well, yeah <laughs> towards the end I, I was starting to move it just because i wanted to fuck with them because it, it was becoming a little bit yeah but um too dramatic you know? no because they were supposedly talking to hitler bro <laughs> that's why i feel like, like it's the mindset that you go into it with i feel like yeah exactly because yeah. when they got it you know they obviously had the intention to use it and they wanted to they thought right they wanted to communicate and whatever um so they were already in that mode and when i got there it was more like oh we're doing this and it was you want to you want to come with and, yeah, okay sure, yeah yeah so bro said fuck it <laughs> bro like why bro so, <laughs> one of my homies was like you want to play a Ouija board I'm like guys I'm not friends with you no more like, I gotta go, like, <laughs> I, gotta go to I, I seen movies where this shit does yeah. not go right like ever I don't know dude you, one, you, get, you get a Ouija could you get a Ouija board at Target or something like that yeah you can, you can right? yeah really? and Walmart you know, too yeah so I was like Fuck, nah, I don't know, man. That's there's that's fucking scary. I would not do that. No. But like, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't want to try that. That's something man. I wouldn't fuck around with, no. honestly. Yeah. But I, I was always afraid of the dark as a kid. So You're you telling know? us about like the the house. Yeah, because we always had a long hallway. We had a long hallway, uh-huh. and uh, that's it. But like the when it would get dark, there was hardly anywhere <laughs> yet. So yeah, it gets super dark. Time to go to bed. Um, I would to go to my living room to my bedroom. I had to walk down that hallway, bro, and yeah, but the light switch was on one side. Damn, so <laughs> you had to run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did that. Yeah, we started sprinting. <laughs> Whoever made that house, uh, I think I was saying, I'm a macho man. I'm a macho man. I'm a macho man. Turn off the lights. Run. I, I used to do those things where I turn it off. I'm like, I ain't scared. And I start yeah. walking, and then I feel like <laughs> something's following you. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. go. That shit's yeah. anxiety. <laughs> that shit. That's like, real anxiety right there. Especially like in this hallway, I'm like, fuck, I want some leche or some shit. You know, I'm, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Okay, I go to my fridge. Yeah. I'm playing some fucking like you know some death tones, some fucking rock music. I'm like, man, fuck all these girls. You know, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I run. I'm spilling my fucking milk and shit like that. I was like, yeah, actually, I was he had no bro. milk by the end. Yeah, of the I lucky when I ended off home. I was like, man, this shit's gone. I'm gonna go back. Bro. But since you have like not many scary stories, what about like creepy encounters? You ever had like a like a crazy like fan or anything creepy like on social nah, media? It's always been love. No, nah, it's always been love. It's always really? been love. Yeah. Wow. I feel like it's always been love. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can't think of any any stories that that were. What's scary the most? Then what's the most like? beautiful thing that's happened to you meeting a fan like what's something that's always like oh you know, dude it's it's, it's each time that, that that i get the you know you were my childhood because that, that that's i never understood the magnitude of that until later way later until now it's like it, you know we were kids some kids you know we were a generation is saturday cartoons you know mm-hmm. what i mean and that that was that was a trip for me um to be able to be a part of so many people's lives like that knowing that i was a part of so many people's lives you guys let me be a part of your lives and, and um that's a, that's a, that's a privilege it's an honor and a privilege um yeah I, can, I think i can die tomorrow and and be happy man because yeah you made a lot of people smile man the number one thing i go by is like i could like you said i could die tomorrow but as long as I know I made an impact in so many people's hearts, mm-hmm. that's why I truly love. Yeah, that because man, that you can't. There's not a you can't put a price on that. Can't yeah. put a price on that. You yeah. can't uh, to inspire somebody to inspire that kid to want to put up 
their videos because again man it's very it's a vulnerable thing to put up your own content yeah you know what I mean? for sure yeah. it was if it was for sure you guys were we i started falling in love with the whole creating videos yeah. like the whole the idea, whole youtube sure. idea of it no yeah that's because like you guys were the first like you guys were fucking pioneers. Let's yeah. be honest. You and we, I don't think we, we were ever, we realized that. It was just. Um, Going video by video, day yeah, by day. We didn't know. It was just, um, we loved <coughs> acting. We loved doing it, right? We loved acting. And we finally came across a platform that be able to let us do it, right? Mm-hmm. And and all you needed was a camera recorder, right? And, yeah. And some friends. Some, yeah, some friends. And, and that's it, right? Yeah. And, um. So that, that, that was, that's a beautiful thing. I feel like, honestly, when I was, like, like around the area of, like, 2018, 2019, like, you guys just, like, you know, started, like, you know, stepping back from it. Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys weren't appreciated as much, like, from YouTube and stuff in general. Because, like, know I, what? I've seen, like, you know, you know how when they used to do the YouTube Rewind? Mm-hmm. I feel like you guys should have been on those stuff. Like, I feel like YouTube should have, like, came to you guys and, like, you guys, like, you know, did a lot for us. I, 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 uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't hold any. I don't hold any grudges. Yeah, hold any grudges, or I don't uh, think negatively like that. Uh, I'm. Th- I'm just thankful for for the impact that I did have. Yeah. Instead, instead of like being envious of what I, we didn't get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because who wants to live like that? Like, yeah. You know, oh, we should have been this. Should have been that. Now it's like it's, it's, it's a gift. Yeah. <laughs> you have no it's idea. A what that, bro. Uh, yeah. It's a good mentality. Yeah. And I love it, like, cause something. Even people are in our fans in our comments. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, I was feeling so sad today, but you guys' post made me so happy. Like, yeah. yeah. You guys, bro, like pushed me through depression, through yeah. sadness, and yeah. everything. When I was feeling so sad, exactly. I just see your videos and I'll laugh so hard. Yeah. And that's what truly fills my heart with joy. And I'm like, damn, like, that's really, fun. It's, it's just something cool. like I do as part time. I just post a little video, mm-hmm. and it's it's truly reaching to people's hearts yep. and bringing them joy. That's yeah, like, yeah, that's I'm something like, damn. bigger than you, dude. It's it's bigger than you. Man. Or do you or do you even like, bro? Like, you're pushing me to like really want to do what I want to do. Yeah. And like them seeing us, like, oh, bro, like the keep back crew, blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, we're just we're just cousins having fun. Talking. When people come up to us in public, how oh, we know you from the videos? I'm like, really? Like you watch our videos? Like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. cool right? Yeah, it's fun. How are you guys dealing with that? Um, with your little client that you guys are going around. It's uh, on it, I went to the laundromat the other day with uh-huh. my mom. Yeah. Because you know, my mom's, you know, her hands kind of aching and stuff like that, yeah. so she wanted my help yeah. to go to the laundromat, and I went. And while I was doing my the laundry, I heard my fuck I heard my voice mm. on a video, Duh. and I was like, "What the hell is going?" On? Like I was like, "Who's playing my video?" And it was That's a kid so watching my video, and I heard his voice and my voice, and I was like, mm. "I didn't go up to him because I was like, yeah, I still I still don't know how to like you know handle that situ- those situations." Yeah. Yeah. But when I heard it, it put a big smile on my face. For yeah, sure, it is I weird. Like, wow. I remember when it first started happening, dude. Like, cause you know you're uh, I've always been a, an introvert, mm-hmm. but so um, when people come up whatever that at first it was a little i don't know how to i don't know how to approach it yeah Yeah. it's like when they say are you the guy from the videos it's like i don't know it's like yes (laughs) yeah i don't want to be too kind (laughs) or it'd be like oh no right (laughs) (laughs) you know so uh, sometimes i'd actually do that sometimes where if i didn't feel again if i wasn't feeling at my best you know what i mean or self-confident whatever or or, uh, if i was having a bad day Sometimes I'd be like, oh, mm, sorry, you know, I'd, I admit that sometimes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But um, again, as I mature, get older, yeah, it's always it's like if, yeah, it's Be always more appreciated. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing now in like in around like, you know, the new times where TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that? How are you doing with that? Man, I'm terrible. I'm terrible <laughs> with social media. Yeah. As you can see, man, um, man, I, I like I, I feel like I'm so involved in my my personal life <laughs> like my real life uh but man yeah i wish i can get better but it's 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 awesome bro i feel like it's just more platforms right it's just more platforms yeah. for you be able to do I, I saw you bro i saw you post a tiktok yeah. where you're you're dressed as the mom uh, so many people on and uh, like in the comment section are like what like this is uh, him like yeah. it was so cool i was like bro he's back on it yeah but honestly keep pushing maybe feel like a relic yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> he liked my video on tiktok i made it like a little tiktok video which was it was like um when you grew up watching troll adventures i'm pretty sure you have watched it <sighs> i think you i think you were like you i commented on his video too and he uh, he like replied or he liked it and yeah, i, I like, tried oh yeah i tried to I so yeah excited, i tried to man i tried to um 
Yeah, bitch, get out. I'm pretty sure you liked it. Yeah, I think I did, bro. It was funny. Yeah. I was like, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> I was jealous. I was like, man, fuck you, George. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, George. Yeah, I, I tried to um, uh, get back to everybody when I post my video. When I first started posting videos on, on TikTok, everybody, I man, if, if you look on all the videos, I tried to. I think the first, as much time as I can, man, just go one by one and try to respond to everybody. Yeah. But uh, I feel like it's it's um it's important though, man, because I feel like um there's too many YouTubers not doing that. No, um they don't value you. You know what I mean? They yeah, don't, they don't value you. Uh, they can give a shit. You know? Uh, That's what it's it's so fucking like they they don't they're not humble. Yeah, they don't they don't like they don't look they don't, at their fans. They don't, they don't understand like, that it's um it's a privilege. It's a privilege. Thank you. It is it, it is very much a privilege, man. Um. People take the time of their day to again watch your stuff that you put up, and they show you appreciation for it. You know, the least you can do is is like recognize them. Just you know, yeah, I see you. You know what I mean? I see you too. You know, what I mean? so oh, thank yeah. you. So, yeah, yeah. Like if I can say anything for kids who are like trying to do stuff, like uh, trying to come up on YouTube or anything like that, don't do it. Don't do it for money. Don't do it for fame. Don't do it for you know, don't do it for all that byproduct shit. Do it because yeah. you have something in you and you want to share. Mm-hmm. And all that other shit's going to follow. Yeah, all people, that other shit falls in People are creative, man. They're, yeah. they're creative. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of people with a lot of good talent. Yeah, so I'm like, man. damn. And just, uh, just when we go in it for the wrong reasons, that's where the unhappiness comes in. That's where the uh, pressure uh, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any, has there ever been a video that's like been really hard? Like, for example, like when we do videos, there's some videos are like, damn, this video was so hard to do. People don't even know how hard it was. I has there been a video my like recent, that? The recent videos that I've done, dude, just because uh, of the fact that I haven't been shooting as much and I haven't um, exercised that muscle mm-hmm. um, of, like, as far as acting and improv. Um, it's I rusty. F- you know, you feel rusty. You feel uh, like the last Mexican mom video that we just put up. Uh, I think he just put up like two, a week ago last week. Um, that one, dude, like there was a lot of takes. I had to do a lot of takes just because, yeah, man, you, when we do an improv, you can't be in here. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. You, you have to be in here, but you have to be quick Fast with it. With it. Yeah. With it you can't be here and then stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to let it out. You got to let it out. You just got to go with the flow. Improv, yeah. improv, improv is so fucking hard. Yeah. There's a flow that you have to be in, man. And, and um, Again, like I, since I haven't done it so in so long, that it feels off. It feels foreign. Cause I remember back in the day, man, like being on set. It's just second nature, man. It's second nature. Never felt um, that. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I, I, didn't, I never felt pressure on on set. So you always felt joy, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you grateful like to was, be it there. Was, it was. It was fun. like really. It was an easy way to come out and like come into. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. So this is a new segment we're gonna do. It. We want us. We want you to tell us like your story, how you first time or the first time you lost your virginity. Oh, first time I lost my yeah. Dang. Going back yeah. memory lane. That's set, set, set the theme for me, bro. Set, set, the, set setting, the setting. The setting. And, all right, this is what a new fuck? segment we're starting. I didn't know we're doing this. Boys, this, is, <laughs> this is a new yeah. segment we're starting. We're gonna ask Where people how they lose their virginity. Your bedroom. It is back my bedroom. Home. It is yeah. my bedroom. Yes, and but my bedroom. I we couldn't do it on my bed because my bed. I was on. It just squeaked a lot. Made way too much <laughs> sound. Tell us from the beginning. Like, how'd you met the girl? Well, what it was happened? my girlfriend. It was my high school sweetheart. It was oh, my high okay. school sweetheart. Yeah, I was a junior. Um, I think it was during summer school. Oh, yeah. How old are you? 18, 17? You was like 16. 16. 16. Yeah. 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I was 16. And, uh, yeah, we had been together for, 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 for a year, I think. No. Yeah, maybe for a year. And. Uh, yeah, I remember one day after summer school, she came over to my house, and <laughs> home alone. Home she alone. just got down. <laughs> no, we weren't. We weren't home alone. We weren't oh. home alone. yeah, yeah. Oh, risky. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's why we had to be on the floor because the bed made. <laughs> 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 I did. The first time. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I I do remember it was a very un- uncomfortable comfortable experience, a very quick one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, I think she hit her head with um, 
Oh dang! Oh, so you said the 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 bed frame? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's that 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 was. Yeah. It that was, was that was a story, huh? Yeah, that was, that's that was a crazy story. That's funny. That's <laughs> funny. basically it. Man. One day after summer school. Yeah, one day after summer school. Wow. I mean, did dude. you guys plan or you just like in the moment? I think it was just in the moment. Yeah, just, just like like they tell you like just horny teenagers. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. How did you feel when you first like, like when they first told you you were gonna be a dad? How was that feeling? Wow. Man, because I feel like when they t- when someone tells me I'm gonna be a dad, I'll be like, wait, what? Hold on, like I gotta. Yeah, I think at the up. time my stomach is gonna hurt. Yeah, at the time of it, made it more scary, wow. just because it was up in the air. My my future was still up in the air. Was uh, it planned? No, of course not. No, it wasn't planned. It wasn't planned at all. Pull out game, bro. Pull out game was weak. Huh? Weak, yeah, very weak. <laughs> oh, no, but um, yeah. Uh, it, it's a trip. My girlfriend, my girlfriend, and I were, yeah, still my girlfriend. We're about to get married. Should get married. It's just that I, I feel like I, I'm not in a position to um, give her the life that she deserves. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I give her the marriage. I mean the wedding that she deserves. So that's the only thing that holding me back from it. But um, ah uh, man, yeah, I would. Man, I was. I was afraid, man. I think that was the. M- the biggest thing is, is uh, holy shit! Like again, because I lived my life uh, never thinking about the tomorrow. I never saw myself growing old. You um, live in the moment. Yeah, I always lived in the moment, but that w- that's stupid. That's really stupid. Um, so, ah uh, man, there's so much level of uncertainty. Uh, but it, it's just crazy how everything, all, all that noise quiets down when, when you have that baby in your arms. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a trippy feeling. It, it's a blessing now. Huh? Yeah. It's a trippy it's feeling. Mm-hmm. How many kids do you have? Two. 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 A ten Two year old. Yeah. A ten year old and a five year old. What's Nicholas the best part about being a dad? Yeah. In oh, your opinion. Man. For you, what's best, the best part? Best moment being a dad. Oh, my God. Favorite memory. Taking them to school. Uh, really? Taking, taking them to school, picking them up from school or when I come home. Uh, right now, I still get the dad, and they run up at the oh. hug. Oh, dude, that's amazing. Again, uh, you can be filled with so many fucking stresses and worries and anxieties. Because uh, uh, as, as a father, you're always going to fail. You're always going to fail. A million, you're going to fail a million times in a day. But, you know, you got to keep being there. You got to keep being there. Keep at it. Oh, man. In, in, the, in the future, when you pick them up, like they're in like middle school, you gonna bump Katy Perry, in the car? <laughs> <laughs> loud as fuck, embarrass him. I'm, I'm bump the the Cholo Adventures album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, well, whatever album. happened to the to the Cholos? Oh shit! Those bro, shoes. Yeah, oh bro. man, I don't know, dude. I don't. You, you know. never had a pair? I had a pair. I had a pair. I had two pairs. Um, it was a black one and a white yeah, one. I, I remember. Had, I, had I was so. I was like, man, I want fucking cholos, bro. Yeah. I was like, those are fucking. I fly. think at the time we were youngin and we didn't know. We just didn't know what we were doing, to be honest with you, man. And uh, so we didn't squeeze. I think the juices that we could have squeezed or whatever. But that that was those were some badass shoes. I remember like those are fresh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those <laughs> <the> flip. Like <laughs> you could have flipped the shoes, bro. The tongue yeah. and everything. I was yeah. like, no way. Yeah. yeah. The people are still like, I feel Have like, you seen anybody I feel like those should be sold for like thousands now, bro. No, Crazy. you know, I never, we, I think people sent their pictures, right? Well, when, when we released it. Yeah. Whatever. But uh, I never seen people out in the street wearing them. You never seen them out in the street wearing them? No. Oh, yeah, do, you, no. Have, do you see them recently or no? No. The Cholos? No. Fuck, bro. Because that was back in what, 2010, 2012? Yeah. And long like the memory right there, huh? Yeah. What did happen yeah, to them? Yeah, we did have those shoes. Wow, that's Man. nice, dude. Should imagine them, like, we find them on like, eBay and shit. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, we should probably look it up. I'm going to look it up and ask for a piece. How'd you guys even sell them? You just message or you I put them on a website? I don't remember. I think there was a. Uh, from my memory, there was a certain website that you go to, right? They, uh, I forgot what it was called, dude. Um, yeah, that you would go there and we would just get a percentage. But, but uh, yeah, that was, it's, this is way back before the whole uh, knowledge of marketing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, wow. but it's, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. I remember <laughs> you guys do uh, shows too, like live shows. Yeah. How was those, those were fun, bro. I remember I you guys were singing and all that. More, man. I wish we did more of those. 
God, because I think the, the best show that we had was in Vegas. I think it was like a crowd of, I think, 500 people. Wow. Yeah, it was us with uh, Just Kidding Films. Uh, shout out to Just Kidding Films. They were so awesome, too. They're amazing guys. Um, but, man, the love, the energy. I wish that we would be able to do that more, especially since we do things like improv. I think that'd be a very uh, cool world to put our, our fans in, to see it up close and personal. And uh, we try to make it one thing that was really cool about our shows is that we try to make it um, interactive. Like we brought up fans on stage and yeah. be a part of like certain segments or whatever. Like we did the Cholos Bailando Cumbia, but we oh, would yeah. use people from the stage or whatever from the, from the crowd. Wow, so know. that, you know, yeah. So, you know, it's, I thought that was really cool. Um, man, I, I wish we did more. Yeah, and we know. were going to do it, too, uh, a couple of years back in 2018. Uh, we had a company hit us up and we were already naming like listing like cities and then i think they went bankrupt they went bankrupt wow. and they had to shut down everything yeah they had to shut it down project that almost came before we close off what's a message that you could give all the all the youth and all the young kids that want to like advice or best yeah. advice you could give out there to any youth any young and adults? to us because we're youth too we're still youth. I, like yeah. i said before guys um if if there's anything that we want to do that you want to bring out uh like for example my son wants to be a youtuber and like uh, i tell him like we if you're gonna do it like do it for the right reasons not because you want people to know you or you you want you know you want fame or money any of that uh, do it because you have something that you want to share and because somebody out there in the world that like, whatever it is that you have to share might need it you know what i mean yeah. just like you said man like you know you know, thank you guys and those people who say thank you for bringing me out of that depression or you might you never know who you could be helping yeah you know yeah that's uh, true. so yeah just go in with the right reasons and i feel like everything else is gonna fall in place um do everything with love and i guarantee everything will come out the way that you want it to maybe not as fast that the, you know not the time that you want it to it's not gonna happen at the time you want it to but it's gonna happen in the time that it should yeah, if yes. you go at it with the right intention, yes, sir. Yeah. Well said, man. Well yeah. said. God bless you, brother. God bless yeah, yeah. you, man. Thank you, Thank you guys for having me. Awesome. Thank you, man. I know this, this man here had a drive. He had a long uh, drive, but he made good, it out here. It's, it's a good. blessing, yeah. man. To be All love. Thank you guys for having me on, course, man. man. I wish you guys nothing but the best, man. You guys. Thank you, man. You Hopefully, you we can better. hang out more soon, bro. When yes, you're around the Dino, the IE. I hear you guys. That's a long time. Oh, we go to you, bro. We're gonna grab some Dutch Bros. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, brothers. But thank right, you guys bro. for having you me. You want to shout yourself out? Say anything out there before you head out? Well, shit, kids. Uh, fuck, don't get the medical haircuts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Heard that shit already, man. Why is that? We have said that before. So many times, do, 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 I mean, you as a barber, bro, do they bro. ever come and ask for it? And you'd be like, kid. Don't do it. Brother. I'll just give you a moment. It's <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> There's nah. girls out there, guys. <laughs> Bro, those some of them be having some crazy cuts. Like, yeah. big back here and then Boat like cuts, right man. here. I'm Boat just like, cuts. damn. I, wa- I just want to know where it came from, bro. I want to know who the person who started this, bro. And just confront them and let them know that you set our people back so many years, dog. Yes. We were just getting cool, guys. I want to I wanna know, like, who thought being an editor was attractive <laughs> all the bad bitches love them i don't understand i'm like what? how and they do yeah. yeah bro they be getting they be bro. like they be worshiping them they'll be like i love him i'm like dude this food is looks it like because their heads look like dicks <laughs> or no bro it. it's just no. crazy. <laughs> it's, there's i did I just get paid to give a haircut. That's what I do. <laughs> there is this one girl in, uh, that I know. She's so beautiful. Probably like one of the most gorgeous girls in school. And she's dating an editor. And I'm just like, dude, what do you see in him? I was like, this food <sighs> looks so weird. Man. But I'm, I'm, in my head, I'm like, must be the personality or something. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Bro got a big dick. Bro got a big dick. <laughs> That's don't what it is. Don't, 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 it don't, 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 don't make the Edgar start thinking that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Check us out on Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, and watch our Patreon episodes. They're really cool. So, peace. Peace. peace.